Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 13. Inside this video session guys, we are going to use where conditions in our query builder. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coordinator Framework Tutorial. So basically guys, if you follow about the documentation of CodeIgnitorFramework.com website, then according to that documentation, you will several find about the where conditions actually we will use inside Query Builder. But now, from those documents, I have actually take some of the examples, some of the where conditions that we are going to use inside this video. So like operators in where condition, suppose something like we are going to just compare some value with our column names, we are actually we will use some operators like greater than, something greater than, less than, something greater than equal to, these operators we are going to use with where condition. And also we will see about or underscore where, also we will see about where underscore in. These are the few actually techniques we are going to implement inside this video but according to documentation there are several methods actually developer has provided inside coordinatorframework.com website. So back to editor. So basically guys in our previous video session we had discussed about using raw, using raw result, result array and something raw array. These are the methods we had seen. One more question I got from my channel is that why we have used or why we have studied about these methods. These are only guys, these are only formatting the result set. If you want to take the object value from database then result or raw method is okay. But if you want to look through for all the array values then you have to use these methods. So back to our controller, I am going to make a method to understand about the fair conditions. So let's say public function and simply I'm going to take the function name is something called condition and this is all about condition. So back here and let's say that I'm going to call a method from our model and the model is something let's say action model. So this action model and it has a method something called get where condition query simply this is the method that we are going to make so copy this method name go to action model scroll down and let's say that public function and this is the method name inside this method we are going to firstly use the operators in where query so how can we use these operators back to editor so let's say that this db we are going to select all the data if we are back to database table inside this table if we click on that now inside this table we have four columns like id name email phone number and the salary sorry we have five columns so on the behalf of salary we are going to select our data we are going to select our rows so let's say that for example we are going to select all the rows which salary have greater than or equal to 4500 so back to editor let's say select all from we have to pass the table name something users it automatically add tbl prefix as the db prefix we have provided inside database.php so here tbl underscore users now we have to put about where condition so this db let's say where and inside this where condition I am going to use our comparison operators. So what's actually we have the column name, column name if I back to structure, now inside here we have salary. So let's say salary is greater than equal to. Now we have provided a range, it means that it is going to compare with the value and finally if I run suppose something like that, this db and finally let's say get and if I store all the very values inside this query finally it will generate the query and query something like that select all from db underscore users where salary equal to 
greater than or equal to and we have the value called 4500. So this is the query behind the scene this query builder generates. Now finally I'm going to run this query. So let's say query and we are going to take the result so query and finally we are going to use called result. This will give the object values and let me store inside this result variable and finally return that. So we are going to collect all the data inside our controller and finally if I store inside here inside data variable and finally let's say that print a and this is the data. So if I save this file go to routes file and let's say that if I make action delete single so instead of that let's say that salary filter and it actually calls the method is something called condition so copy this method name back here and pasting it here so if I copy this route back to our browser and pasting it here and pressing enter and now if I just go inside controller let me make some formatting so I'm going to use call the pre tag so let's say that echo PRE tag so if I again reload this page now we have two results why we are getting two results because we have compared with 4500 values it means that the salary is greater than equal to it means that it is equal to and it is greater than so we are getting two values so successfully guys we have implemented our first comparison operator so if suppose if I make multi-line comment inside that if I use here if I copy the syntax back here this is the symbol for let's say greater than equal to now if I again write this if I copy and paste and let's say that if I write something like that this is something called less than equal to again if I write suppose something like that salary equal to it will give only a single value so this is only equal to and also if I write something here let's say not equal to so here not equal to also we have two more conditions something only greater than it means the salary value which has greater than 4500 will be listed again also we have one more condition is something like less than so these are the comparison operators actually we have used or we can use inside fair condition so back here so open a new tab and these are the comparison operators so basically we can use all these things to get our result set according to conditions you need to change about the column name and the values these all are operators so back to second slide now what is where or underscore where so by default guys actually if we put multiple conditions inside this array then automatically it converts all conditions inside and operator what basically it means so back down and let's say that we are going to make a method some, something called public function and let's say get and condition basically this is only a math name let's say this db select we are going to select all the data and let's say from we have the table something called users and we are going to put our where condition something called where so we are going to pass multiple conditions at this time so where let's say that if I back to our database table we have called name and the email so if I copy this ID so let's say that ID equal to 1 and also this time we are going to compare with the multiple data something called email so let's say that email and we have email at this time so get rid of this extra space and copy this email ID back to editor and I'm going to pasting it here so finally let's say that query equal to this DB get so finally guys what basically query variable generates behind the scene it will generate the query something like select all from let's say tbl underscore users 
where let's id equal to 1 and this time it uses the and operator and let's say email equal to what value we have passed it get compared with two conditions it means that and operator basically indicates that all these conditions what we have passed called id and the email address should return true value it means that if both conditions true then it will result actually it will return the result else it will not return so if i return the result this result equal to let's say this sorry it's query and finally we are going to use called result so save this file and finally we have to return this result so let's see that return so if I save this method go to controller pasting this method here so if I comment pasting it here go to our browser reload this page now we are getting on a single value because we have compared with the two columns called ID and the email which basically matches with this column so back here now if I suppose change the email address now inside this query it actually returns the true value because ID has one but remember email address is not equal to this email it means that it returns the false value so inside where condition we have true and false basically it overall results as a false value it means that we are not going to take any value from the database so reload this page now array is empty so this is all about AND condition it means that all the conditions we have specified inside view all the values should be true so again if I make comment of that either you can use about the multiple where conditions inside this array or simply we can use the multi lines of where condition how can we use so let's say this db where inside this where condition firstly I am going to compare with the ID so this is condition number one again if I copy and paste this line and this time let's say email and if I copy this email address and pasting it here automatically multi-line where conditions get converted inside and operator so if I save this file back to browser load this page now as we can see that we have no values but we want that ID let's say that ID turns true value and suppose in case email is not valid then at that time we are also want to get the result so how can we use our where condition so at that moment we are going to use call or where so back here let's say that instead of this or condition I am going to put or underscore where it means that either this condition will be true or this condition will be true we are getting any single value it means that from these two conditions we want only a single true value or both get true values so if I save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that result is here why because this condition returns the true value but this time this does not we are going to use called or it means that either this will be true or this will be true or both will be true we actually get the result so behind the scene instead of this and operator we have generated called or operator okay so this is the benefit or use of or underscore where now this time we are going to discuss about where underscore in so let's say that public function let's say get where underscore in so let's say this db select let's say all something called from and let's say tbl underscore users where now why actually or in what condition we use or where underscore in where underscore in basically used to get the multiple values on the behalf of multiple conditions let's say that we are going to select all the data from this users table where salary is less than let's say that 6000 or 3000 so on the behalf of these two conditions it will return the result set if you back to editor let's say where underscore in firstly 
it will take two values. In the first value, we have to pass the column name. So go to structure, let's say that salary, pasting it here. And in the second parameter, we have to pass the array values. It means that in this array, we have to pass our conditions. We have to pass our values. So let's say that here inside this array, I'm going to pass something called 4500. Next value we have to pass called 6000. It means that all the columns which basically matches with these values, it will return as a result. Also, let's say that we have specified as 10,000 as the value, but this time this record does not exist. Then at that moment, it will not give any error while matching with this value. So if I again, let's say query equal to, let's say this, db and finally get method. We are going to store all the result inside this result variable. So let's say result equal to, let's say query and finally, let's say that result method. And let's say that I'm going to return to our controller. So return, copy this method name back to controller and inside this condition method let's make comment of the first and pasting it here save all these things back to browser reload this page now inside this array we have two objects the first object which has value 4500 and 6000 as the second value so if you back to editor we have basically where in is used to compare with the multiple values it means that we are going to select all the rows from the TVL users table where salary equal to 4500 or salary equal to 6000 or salary equal to 10,000 but this time this does not exist then it automatically does not give an array of that so if I make copy of this line and pasting it here back to editor let's say that we are going to take our values where email is something about inside these values so back to editor, let's say this time email equal to and this time email value is comparing inside this so it should be a string value. Now again inside the second value let's say that abc at gmail.com and inside the third value I'm going to pass the value is let's say sample at the rate test.com. Now as we know that inside all these three values we have only a single value which we have inside our database table all these are not so it will return a single value after matching all these things so back to browser reload this page now we have single value so again if i make copy of this email id back to our where in condition pasting it here then it automatically gives about the two data sets reload this page and now all these data here so basically guys inside this video we had studied about all these conditions inside our query builder. We are moving step by step in our code igniter series. So far we haven't studied about form builders, any helpers, any libraries. We haven't made any HTML form inside this video. but. In our upcoming videos guys, we are going to make our forms, we are going to implement our validations, we are going to use our sessions, use our, using our libraries and helpers and also at that time, after making our forms, actually we will insert, update and select all the data by using these query builders. So firstly, I thought that why not actually we will study database first. So this is all about our database concepts. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.